Hey students, this is a brief video on evaluating polynomial functions. Uh, so when they ask you to evaluate a polynomial function, um, make sure that you've already watched my other video on intro to polynomials and degree. Um, when they say evaluate a polynomial function, what they really mean is plug in. Okay, so they just mean plug in. So they're going to give you a number, and you're going to plug that in for x everywhere you see an x on the right side. Okay? So because these are not too hard, you're just plugging in, I think I'm just going to do a couple examples. So this video is going to be pretty short. Okay, so example. Um, if, let's, let's suppose that uh, capital P of x equals x squared plus x, plus 7, okay? So that's our first polynomial. If p of x equals x squared plus x plus 7, and q of x is equal to 3x squared minus 1, okay? q of x equals 3x squared minus 1, then they want us to plug in. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to be doing two brief examples here. So the first example, uh, example number one, is going to be they ask us to find q of negative seven. Find q of negative seven. And when they say find q of negative 7, that's the same as plugging in or evaluating this function q of x at x equals negative 7. So you're just going to be plugging in negative 7 everywhere you see an x on the right side. Okay? So um, just means, all this means is plug in negative 7 for x. Okay, so you're going to plug in x equals negative 7. Okay, and because they asked us to find q of negative 7, we're just going to be looking at um, this second function here, this q of x. Okay, and we're literally just going to be plugging in the negative 7 wherever we see an x on the right side. So here we're going to be replacing that x there with negative 7. Okay, so what's that going to look like? Well, we're going to get um, 3 times negative 7, parentheses squared, minus 1. Okay, so um, notice that I put parentheses around the negative 7. Uh, it's generally a good idea to put parentheses around numbers when you're plugging them in. Uh, especially if they're negative, you have to put parentheses around them. Uh, so here, the square actually refers to the entire negative 7, not just the 7. Okay? So what we got here is 3 times negative 7 squared. Well, that just means 3 times negative 7 times negative 7 minus 1. Okay? Um... And so if we simplify that, uh, those two minuses are going to cancel. So I can cross those out. And then we know that 3 times 7 is 21. And then 21 times 7, well, um, you can always write it over on the side. 21 times 7 is going to be 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So you get 147. Okay, so here we have 21, 3 times 7 is 21, and then 21 times 7 is 147, but then we still have a minus 1 here. Okay, so we're going to have 147 minus 1, which is 146. Okay, so our answer is actually going to be 146. And when they're asking you to evaluate a polynomial function, 
they're just asking you to plug in and simplify. Okay, so we, we also simplified the expression. Okay, and then um, I wanted to do one more. Okay, so uh, example number two. For this one, they're asking us to find p of 4. Find p of 4. So just like with the last problem, we're going to be plugging in x equals, well, this time it's 4. But here, because it's the function is p of x, we're going to be plugging it into that function. Okay, so here we're plugging in x equals 4. Plug in x equals 4. And we're plugging it into the function p of x, not the function q of x. So remember at the beginning, they gave us two polynomial functions, p of x and q of x. Well, for part one, it was q of negative 7, so we use this one. But for uh, example number two, it's actually going to be p of 4. So we're going to replace every single x here on the right side with 4. Okay, so this x and that x are both going to now be, we're going to be plugging in 4. x equals 4. Okay, so instead of x squared plus x plus 7, we're going to have 4 squared plus 4 plus 7. Okay, so this is going to be 4 squared plus 4 plus 7. Actually, let me, let me write it down, down here so we have more room. 4 squared plus 4 plus 7. Okay, and then you just want to use PEMDAS to simplify this. Okay, so we're doing the exponents first. So 4 squared is going to be 4 times 4. Okay, so we have uh, 4 times 4 plus 4 plus 7. And then we, we should know from our times tables or calculator that 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, so we get 16 plus 4 plus 7. Okay, and then we can just do our addition now, since we've taken care of the exponents and there's no multiplication and division. Okay, so doing our addition from left to right, we have 16 plus 4 is 20, and then 20 plus 7 is going to give us 27. Okay, so our answer is actually going to be 27. All right. And um, so, yeah, I think two of those examples should be sufficient um, for this topic. Thanks for watching.